What's up, fuckers? Happy Thursday. Well, I hope you had a pretty good week. So we're almost to Friday. So I thought I'd jump on here and do a collective reading for you guys and see what's in store for the weekend. <laughs> um, tap that screen. Tap that screen. <laughs> All right, fuckers, let's see what's going on with y'all. Hmm. Hmm. Some of you bitches are in your Queen of Wands energy. Like, y'all like glowing up, looking good, looking hot, look, you know, attracting all these motherfuckers. Charismatic. Oh. Sexy. <laughs> um, whoever you are, feminine energy, uh, you are very determined, okay? You have you're determined, like, change is on the horizon for you, like, you have so much willpower, and you have so much control over yourself, and what you're doing, and you are determined to get there, you're gonna get there, okay, I, I, I know you are, you are glowing up, you have self-confidence in yourself, <sighs> Yeah, you are you are really working to secure your fucking retirement right now. Like you are busting your ass for your own security, for your security of your family. Um you might even have a financial windfall here is what I'm looking at here, possibly by a family member. Hmm. But I'm picking up it's some 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 security that you are building for yourself and your family. Um, the Ten of Cups just popped out, and this indicates happiness, fulfillment, like, marriage, possibly, commitment, um, conformity here. So, we've got the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant is status quo, conformity following the leader, following a group, you know, um, conforming to what is expected of you. Hmm. For a harmonious marriage. <laughs> Look, <laughs> the four of wands. Um, the four of wands indicates with, with the ten of cups here, this indicates like a marriage, like a committed relationship, um, two people doing it the right way, literally, um, yeah, righteous way, um, following, you know, the advice of their family members, their friends, and really just doing the right things, being good, being loyal, being a good wife or a husband. Um, even preparing for some kind of an expansion. Um, and I do feel like it has to do with your financial security for your, for you and your family and something to retire on. And with that pre preparation for expansion, you are preparing to bring it. You are preparing for a solid, grounded, Hmm. Yeah, you're definitely preparing. You're ready to bring it on. Bring this idea to action. Huh. <laughs> you're the empress. <laughs> if anybody can do it, you can, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh, the death card. Ending springs new beginning. So, yeah. Okay, okay. So, here you are. You're kind of chilling, kicking back, soul searching, kind of figuring out what you want to do with life, making some preparations, getting ready to make a move on whatever investment that you wanted to make for yourself. Um, so whatever you've been doing that has not worked, 
it's about to come to an end and you're going to make some changes. You've learned a lot from all of this crap. And um, you've learned a lot of lessons as well as a lot of methods and new ideas um, to make money, to make money for your life, to make money for your family, to make money for your security, for your retirement. Um, yeah, you see, you have a vision, okay? You have a vision that you wanna invest in. You, you, you see the light at the end of the tunnel. You see the results in your mind. You have the vision of the results. You know it's gonna work out great. Um, you know, <laughs> you have the confidence of knowing it's gonna be victorious for you, prosperous going to be publicly recognized. I feel like I feel like whatever you're doing possibly as an entrepreneur, possibly an influencer, maybe on TikTok, maybe on um, some sort of social media or any type of platform like that, I do believe that you are being successful in this and you are preparing to be even more successful. And I do see the world card. Uh, the world card indicates accomplishment, completion, um, possibly air travel. You might have to fly somewhere for this public recognition. Mm. Shit's about to go down in a good way. <laughs> Look, a new prosperous opportunity coming. An offer for some sort of financial opportunity, um, financial beginning, the beginning of something. Um, with the Page of Wands, mm. I've got someone who is very new to all this shit, like um, new to kind of business, new to, to retirement, new to 401k, possibly um, insurance and all those things. But someone's very new to this. So, so they're at the beginning stages of learning all this and how to, how to live their life, how to invest in their future. How, so like someone very young maybe um, in this. And of course, this person here is very creative, very passionate. Um, very enthusiastic as well, and, and energetic like a motherfucker. Like, they're ready to jump on this shit, like, now. <laughs> Whoever you are in this collective. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're ready to take it on. Like, you're, you're, you're ready to test faith. You're ready to test it. You're ready to put your, you're ready to go. Like, you are ready. You are ready to take it, take on any challenge. Um, you gonna make it happen, Captain. You gonna manifest anything. You got good luck coming your way. Another success card, Wheel of Fortune. Um, it's gonna work out great. Look at that. Wish fulfillment right here. And self-sufficiency. I mean, you're gonna make your own shit. Like, this is a good reading. Now, there is, there has been conflict for you. Like, you've been struggling. Um, you've been battling a lot. You've had a lot of battles in your life, a lot of financial battles. You've struggled financially for most of your life. Um, it's, it's, it's time to, it's coming to an end. The struggles are going to be coming to an end quick. Um, you've meditated on this. You've contemplated. You've rolled over ideas in your head. You've reevaluated your, your plan of action many, many different times. Um, the lover's card came out, um, the lover's card came out inverted, reversed. So what that means is disharmony in love, um, an imbalance, a misalignment of values. So someone that you are with or you're a love interest of yours is not, y'all aren't jiving very well to You're not vibing very well, not jiving with each other's values and goals and so forth. And you're just kind of not seeing eye to eye. And I do see that you are very tired. Um, and you really, really needed to, you know, kind of rest and get some, you know, recuperate, recharge your batteries. Um, I feel like, I feel like you have had a lot of struggles in love and life and money. Um, yeah, you've been restricted on, on a whole lot of shit. Like, you have not been able to really expand, really spread your wings. Um, things have been in the way. Uh, hmm. Your love interest right here, King of Pentacles. Um, King of Pentacles, he's very secure. He's very grounded. Um, makes his own money. Very independent. Also, very disciplined. Like... This is a really grounded individual. This person can keep you on the straight and narrow, that's for sure. Keep you working your ass 